Well, the Madonna is one aspect of that, that great Bronze Age cosmic goddess. The goddess in her early manifestations is a total goddess. But then she becomes in various aspects specified to this, that, or another role. The goddess Artemis, for instance, is a magnificent figure. But she becomes specialized. In the late literary Greek tradition, she becomes the goddess of the wild animals, you know, and so the huntress, and so the young um, adolescent virgin girl. But she, in another aspect, is the great mother as well. And the mother aspect of the goddess is the one that is represented in the Madonna. Now, there are a couple of very specific deities that are models for the Christian Madonna. And one of them, probably the most important, is the Egyptian Isis. She's the, the mother of Horus and the consort of Osiris. Osiris is the dead and resurrected god, and his mythology is one of the models for the Christian myth of the dead and resurrected savior. So these, these mix up, particularly in the uh, late Hellenistic and Roman periods in the Eastern Mediterranean, the, these mythologies, there was a whole galaxy of mythologies there that uh, influenced each other back and forth. And the Christian recovery of the goddess, see, she's wiped out of the Old Testament tradition. She just isn't there, really, except in a, in a very uh, secret way in the figure of wisdom, Sophia. She appears in Ecclesiastes as having been present with Yahweh at the creation. But otherwise, she's wiped out. But with the Christians in the first century, she, she comes back very strongly. And there's certain aspects of uh, Catholicism, for instance, where Mary is more important than either the Father, Son, or the Holy Ghost. All of the great cathedrals are Notre Dame. And uh, she is the, the guardian, protecting, um, mediating mother. See, the God image, as it is in our tradition, is a pretty heavy one. It's kind of a ferocious deity. And the mother is a protective intermediary uh, screen. When she's wiped out in Puritanism, uh, the God becomes really a ferocious figure, as we read in some of those uh, Puritan sermons.